Hi guys, this is QSLB Tech channel. QSLB Tech provides one-stop optic network solutions for small and medium-sized business. In this video, we're going to talk about the advantages and disadvantages between the fiber and the copper. What's optic fiber? Optic fiber is generally composed of fiber core, cladding layer, buffer, jacket, and fiber optic connectors. The two most common fiber types are multi-mode optic fiber and single-mode optic fiber. At present, optic fiber of various colors are sold on the market. The following are the types of optic fiber represented by different colors. Well, the copper cable is a group of two or more copper wheels bonded together in the single sheet of jet. It's well known that optic fiber has greater advantages over copper cables. First, with bandwidth advantage, the bandwidth of single mode fiber is serially infinite. As for multi mode fiber, OM4 multi mode fiber has a bandwidth requirement of more than 4700 MHz kilometer. When it comes to copper cable, the newest Cat 8 copper cable only sports a bandwidth of 2000 MHz kilometer. The higher the bandwidth, the longer the distance. The single mode fiber even allows 8 km distant communication, whereas Cat 8 copper cable only allows the limited distance of 30 meters according to the 40 gigabit base T standard. So, optic fiber have basically replaced copper cable in the backbone link. And optic fiber have the faster transmission speed. Optic fiber uses optic signal transmissions. The lights are guided based on the principle of totally reflection of lights, while copper cable uses electrical signal. Compared to copper cable, optical fibers are thinner and lighter. The multi-mode fiber core is about 50 to 62.5 micrometer. The single-mode fiber is even smaller up to the 9 micrometer, whereas the diameter of a standard classical copper cable up to the around 47 mm. Besides, optic fiber is made by fiberglass while copper is made by copper. Thus, resulting in fiber being lighter than copper cable, the characteristic of thin and lightweight make the fiber more convenient and thus easier to stop. Moreover, the anti-interference ability of optical fiber is stronger because it's the basic component of optical fibers, which only transmits lights, neither conducts electricity. Hence, optical fibers enable a strong ability against EMI. Also, optical fiber has higher stability. Statistically speaking, a fiber system enables the time of failure-free operation up to half a million hours, whereas a copper cable system usually uses many amplifiers. The more device, the greater the possibility of failure. Of course, optical fibers has more advantages, but it doesn't mean that copper cable will be replaced, because the material of copper cable is copper, so the tensile strength is high. Copper cable's high tensile strength is helpful in preventing cable strength and breaking and thereby also helpful in preventing system failures. And copper cable have low price in specific applications such as traditional building cabling systems, line, POE, KVM applications. Copper cable still attracts the customer's favor due to its cost effectivity. Therefore, choosing fiber or copper depends on your own needs. QSF Tech provides high-quality fiber optical cables and copper cables. Custom cabling solution is also available. You can go to qsip.com to get it. We have 10 years of experience in optical modules productions and a warehouse in United States and Poland, sporting same-day shipping. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to click the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. See you next time.